Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Hope you guys are having a great time. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk about kind of like tier 17 viability and showing off the build in tier 17 content. Now to confirm here, this is not a budget video of any kind. This is my level 100 RF Chieftain who is extremely geared. But remember, I did clear a T17 before the mods got nerfed. Day 3 of the league when my character was definitely under 20 divines. We're talking about farming tier 17 versus just clearing it. This is a different story where I would, at the bare minimum, recommend you have a Defiance of Destiny with an Adorned setup. The Adorned implying this jewel, basically. It can be usually, I think, 129 is what I recommend in the POB. And then getting at least a double cluster setup. Triple cluster is a bit, a bit further away. Now, these are just requirements I would recommend for tackling T17. Of course, you could try it at lower gear. This is mainly to kind of automate it so you don't have to pay too much attention and you can face tank. The reason you really want to do the Adorn setup is because higher life equals more healing with Defiance of Destiny. Now, if you look on the website on pox.net, there's actually a version of my build I posted that gets closer to 10,000 HP with similar damage, but you do lose MTX on Herald of Ash, but most people would just prefer like the stronger build, so go check that out. Anyway, though, let's go ahead and jump into some tier 17s. So I'm running Ziggurat and mainly Abomination, not for any reason specifically other than the maps I run, Jungle Valley and Toxic Sewers, drop Ziggurat and Abomination. From what people say, I believe Fortress is the easiest. I've actually never attempted it because I've never dropped it and I'm too lazy to trade. So I'm going to just go ahead and talk about kind of like map mods here. So this one here has like Vuln, Temp, Ellie Weakness. To me, that's actually very runnable. We typically will have like reduced effect of curses on a flask. If not reduced effect of curses on a flask, if you have a Mage Blood, curses don't matter. Turbo, which is the triple uh, speed you see there, is definitely not too bad. Monster damage is actually a scarier role because it affects not only elemental, but also attack. However, because the only damage mods on this are basically maximum power charge and um monster damage this is runnable however i personally do not like area has patches of awakeners desolation because that turns off your rf and when i'm juicing tier 17s and i have like five frames per second you'll die if you're standing on the awakener desolation but that one for me i would probably re-roll just because of desolation next one players cannot regenerate life that's a skip on top of that skipping it has monster damage penetrates elemental res with two modifiers of extra elemental with a monster damage holy that is a skip of another dimension see you later let's check this one out this one has players are marked for death for 10 seconds to my knowledge mark for death basically means that you have no life regen also this has 50 percent less area of effect which kind of completely messes you over unstable tentacle fiends are basically elder rings you can tank them if there are no damage mods. I think even with one damage mod, you can tank them, but multiple damage mods, I don't know. Like the monster damage and the fizz's uh, extra random element, I would roll this over. All right, next one. Here we have uh, minus 20 max res. That's instant skip for me. So we're just going to skip that one. What is this one? Um, Bloodstained saw blades are not too bad. It's a bit of a degen. Max endurance charge doesn't really matter. No damage is annoying. This is actually runnable. The only the only part that sucks about this is the meteor, but for this, you would actually just drop your flask. I would actually say that if you don't have mage blood, you don't run meteor, because meteor is really dangerous in general. So now I'm just gonna go through and chaos them and basically show you the outcomes here. Monster damage, poison, awaken or desolation. So again, desolation, I personally skip. Um, Giga crit multi cannot be leeched from, reduced crit damage. This is actually totally fine. The only downside on this is mobs have life as ES, so it just takes longer to kill, but this is very runnable. Uh, players are cursed with tri curses, impale. Uh, this is also very runnable, right? Yeah, impale doesn't matter, physical damage reduction doesn't matter, endurance charge doesn't matter. Yeah, th this is actually like the easiest one I've seen. Okay, right, next one over here. Uh, we have uh, life as ES, mark for death is skip. Uh, minus max is a skip. What does this have? Players cannot gain charges, boss turbo, endurance, desecrated ground monster life. This is also very runnable. This is super runnable for us. Uh, next one here. Damage taken from summoner's life doesn't matter. Unstable tentacle fiends doesn't matter. Extra damage is, ca extra damage is chaos. I don't know if it's runnable or not. 
I want to say as long as you're capped chaos, it's probably fine. But if it ever has the other one from like tier 16 maps where mobs wither you, that one's kind of screwed up because it makes you take more chaos. Anyway, hopefully that helped you guys out. Let's go ahead and jump into one really fast. So let's pick this one here because it's going to be the quickest. We're just going to go right to the boss. So I'm using a map, uh, an atlas called Harvey and Chill. I'm not actually going to put Harbingers on it, but basically it's almost full map modifier effect. Literally. The only downside on, well, not the only downside, but it's missing like these two here. And it's missing this note here. And I'm missing back to the basics. So it's pretty, it's a pretty juice tier 17 for what it is. We're also not going to be taking sulfite nodes. So you can just see the character as it is. Okay, so you can see here we have like 72% physical damage reduction, 180 reduced damage from crits, 1 endurance charge, impale, 90% chance to avoid impale. None of this stuff really matters for the most place, right? Or for the most part. I think the only damage mod on there is impale. I'm on the wrong filter. I think I'm on the right filter, actually. We're just gonna jump right through to the boss, to be honest. What is going on with the filter? Holy. Hmm. I think it's just all the scarabs dropping. The more juiced your maps are, obviously there's not much in here because I didn't put Harbinger. The more juiced your maps are, obviously, the faster, not the faster you will clear, but the more explodes you get, which means kind of like the more clear, right? So for Katarina, if you are geared with like a Dorn, you can face tank basically everything on here. The only downside on what you can't face tank is if you're in lightning coil setup, you cannot tank these degens. I'm also opting out to have a lot less net recovery than I think like my POBs will show. And that's just because my character is so tanky. I don't need to rely on regen. I just rely on Defiance of Destiny. The prime example, if I like sit here and degen and then come back over here, right? When she hits me, she'll pretty much just heal me. Basically, when it comes to the damage mods, you just want to make sure you're not putting too many damage mods unless you actually want to avoid mechanics. If you roll it so that there's not many damage mods on the map, you can usually just face tank literally everything, which trivializes T17 content. So prime example would be dodging these skulls. Don't need to dodge these skulls if you're geared. Why? Because Defiance of Destiny is a balanced mechanic and the skulls will just heal you. So here should be an example. Yoink. Okay, and I think that will pretty much be it. Look at Shitstay and Steve over there. 8450. He's going, man. He is really going. I think that's pretty much about it for the video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch me live every day at twitch.tv slash box after Sundays. We're gonna be continuing our ball lightning hierophant progression. So pretty excited for that. It's our SSF character. That's about it. Catch you guys all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody.